Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people and laying hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. God was amazed at their lack of faith. Of course, I don't know about you, but curing a few sick people and laying hands on them still is a pretty big deal. Um, and yet, man's heart grows so hard. In that first reading, we hear about God's discipline, and parents know well how difficult it is to raise children, especially if you have a strong-willed child. You do your best to try and break their will, but never their spirit, and that in lies the challenge. How do we move people to be open to the power and mystery of God? The reality is we can't. We can't change another person's heart. It's difficult enough to change our own heart, to try and make ourselves open to the discipline of God and do what we might to really die to ourself so that God can be made more visible in what we say and what we do. And this itself can only be accomplished through God's grace. So, what are our choices? Beg the Lord for the ability to respond to the grace that he gives us and strive to die to ourself to live no longer for ourselves, but for those around us, for God and neighbor. It is a very tall order, especially in the face of darkness, evildoers, people who don't seem to care any, about anything but themselves. But with God's grace, it is possible. And may we respond to God's grace and his love for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Keeping our eyes fixed on Christ, we now offer our petitions for the sake of the world. For the church. <clears throat> that she may be emboldened by God in spreading her message of salvation to the world, we pray to the Lord. That the Holy Spirit may guide all people and nations on the path that leads to justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. That the Lord may console all who are mourning the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. That the grace of the sacraments may bring forth abundant fruit in this community of faith, we pray to the Lord. 
that God may joyfully welcome into the light of his presence all who have gone before us in faith. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for Danny Dubrinskowski, the intention of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. For more vocations to the priesthood, religious life, faith-filled marriages, and the dedicated single life, we pray to the Lord. That all corruption in our world be uncovered and those responsible for it lose their power or be converted so that we can have leaders that respect life, religious liberty, and all that's in accord with natural law, we pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, in Ukraine especially, and for all those people who suffer under tyrannical or incompetent rule, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of the people gathered here before you. Answer them in so far as they meet our deepest needs and are in accord with your holy and divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 